go on in fourth grade. Uh, yesterday I gave you a tutorial or a how-to video on how to do our math facts. Remember you're going to do side A and then you listen to side A and correct it with me and then side B is on your own. The next step in math every day is going to be our math power-up. And our math power-up you've got to get from your math books. Okay, So I have a math book here. I already have it open to it. Here's how it works. The lesson's at the top. It'll give you the title of what we're going to learn today. It'll tell you which facts you're going to do power-up A. I'll show you a sheet in a second. And then here are all the mental math questions and the problem solving. So you're looking for these. The count aloud we won't do because we're not together to do it aloud. So facts, mental math, problem solving. Now I'm going to work through these things with you on the video when I post those for the Monday's les for the first lesson. But today I just want to give you an idea on how to do it. Here's what our power-up sheet will look like, and notice it says A. It's a little bit cut off because I squeezed it over because we're going to do all the mental math on the side. And so when I correct these, I want to see the top done, the mental math on the side, and the problem solving here in the middle. Let's give you a little example. I need a pen. One second. All right, guys, of course, you'll be using a pencil, and you just do the top. It's normally timed for four minutes. You don't need to time yourself. Just go right across and work on each one. I like to say them out loud as I go. It makes it easier for you to remember. Two plus six is eight. Six plus nine is 15. Four plus eight is 12. Two plus four is six. And seven plus nine is 16. You're going to do the whole thing all the way across all of them in the power up. On my video, I'll correct it with you. And on this one, we'll normally go across. Right on my video then, we'll go right into the mental math part. And now here's that math book that I was showing you. It's for lesson one. There's the title. Facts A we did already. Now we're on to the mental math. Now the mental math ones at the beginning of the year are going to start super easy, but I want to train us to get into a good habit. So we're going to actually put all the mental math questions on the side, and we're actually going to solve them. We're going to show all the work is what that means. So I'm going to go ahead and write it. 3 plus 3. I got it from right here. A. A. 3 plus 3 is 6. Once I have that, I'm going to go to the mental math part and put my answer in there. Okay? Let's move on to B. B says 30 plus 30. So I'm going to stack it up, 30 plus 30. We start in the ones column. We add 0 plus 0 is 0, and 3 plus 3 is 6, and our answer is 60. So we go and we put it in our answer key. C. We're cruising now. 300 plus 300. You've probably seen the pattern here. All we did was add some zeros. And we came up with 660 and now 600. E, F, G, and H. You'll have answers in all of these sections here. For full credit, you need to show all the work. Well, Mr. Bauer, 3 plus 3 is so easy. That's okay. Show all your work. It's going to get a little bit tougher as the year goes on. Okay? All right, the last part of the video is we'll be the, doing the problem of the day. And the problem of the day is at the bottom. And it says, find, uh, fill in the missing numbers. 17, 15, 13, blank, 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 5, 3, 1. So first of all, let's get it on my paper. 17, 15, 13. Here's where I'm looking for the answers. And then it ends with a 5, 3, 1. And so what I'm going to teach you in our lesson today sequences is actually we got to ask ourselves, going up or is it going down? What does that mean? Are these numbers getting bigger or are they getting smaller? How do I get from 17 to 15? Now if you don't have a number line at home, you can look in your resource section of your math folder or you can make your own. I have mine made up on the board for 17, skip 115, 13, I think I have my pattern. First of all, I'm going down or getting smaller and I'm going down by 2. So we're actually subtracting 2. Minus 2 equals 15. 15 minus 2. Keep the pattern going. 2, 13 minus 2. 1, 2 is 11. My first answer is 11. 11 minus 2 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. The kids last year said, Mr. Bauer, if you like subtract, you can add the other way. 1 plus 2 is 3. 
3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, and 9 plus 2 is 11. Now that's all of our work, and so somewhere in this area, you want to put your answer nice and neat. My answer is just these three numbers, and then I like to box up my answer. What it really says, is, hey, here's my answer, Mr. Bauer. When you're looking to correct my paper, I not only showed all my work, you must do that for math, and I got my answer. All right, that's how we're going to use the power-up sheet. We're also going to double this power-up sheet to help us with the lesson. I'll show you the lesson on another page, but I'll say, hey, flip it over and divide your paper into sixths or divide your paper into fourths. Now, if you're going to divide a paper into fourths, you're going to take one vertical line, one horizontal line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but boom, there I have my fourths. Look forward to seeing you on our next how-to video. God bless and have a great day.